Northern Suburbs have had a great second half to the season, losing only one of their last eight matches, and they got away to a dream start against Manly. A charge down was picked up by Scott Podmore, and a few phases later, with just three minutes gone, they had a try from fullback Mitch Walton. Manly, who have only lost two games all year, hit back quickly as Peter Gilmore linked with Chris Cotty, who found a rampaging prop, Oliver Hoskins, on the charge, and only Corey Brown's second attempt brought him down. The damage was done as Manly amassed their numbers on the left, and nothing would deny Caden Neville his try. But a simple passing mistake gave North their second try and a 17-7 lead. And then leading 26-7 midway through the second half, North's ruck defence was caught napping. And while the gap closed slightly, North's completed their surprise win with a touch of subtle passing, and Chris Tuatara was home, as were the Shawmen. Defence was the key as North scored three tries to two. The key difference was the boot of Dave Harvey adding 18 points to the Shawman score. Test back rower Richard Brown was playing his first game for Warringa, but it was Ramwick's back rower Peter Summer who scored early, getting over the line for the first of his three tries. And just five minutes later, Samu had his second. Trailing 15-0, Warringa needed something to fall their way, and finally it did. The charge down picked up by Hamish Angus, who put the toe to the ball and got the right bounce, and Tim Wright could only look on wondering. And you may not see a much better individual try all year as that man Samu steps up again. Well, steps up and then through the line before beating the chasing cover defence with sheer speed for his hat-trick. And Warringa left behind in his wake, trailing 28-15. And things got better for the Wicks and a whole lot worse for Warringa, who were beaten for pace again by Terry Hepatama before Tom Joseph closed out the position. Despite the cries of a forward pass from the partisan Ramwick crowd, the Wicks have a seemingly unbeatable 33-15 lead. The Rats began to claw their way back into the game. Ed Doyle on the end of the line for his first try. Three minutes later, he had his second. As the bell tolled for full time, one final drive delivered the match-winning try and the ring home 36-33. Ramwick letting slip an 18-point lead, while Warringah keep their final hopes alive. Angus posting 16 points for the Rats, Samu three tries for the Wicks. Both Parramatta and West Harbour desperately needed the points from this match to stake their claims for the place in the semi-finals. The two Blues, who dropped four of their last six games, were first to score through flanker Rodney Maher. Essie Leota made the margin at least five points greater when he ran in for the home side's second try. And when Moses Tavola made it try number three, the game seemed to have slipped from the Pirates' grasp. But West Harbour will surprise you at any time, especially when the game seems lost. Alini Nagunga Tower slips a pass to Sean Treweek, who kicks, regathers and scores, reducing the margin to 12 points. Caleb Rack sees an opportunity as good nippy halfback can, and when number eight Sione Tower goes without the ball, Rack does the rest, 29-10 to Parramatta. West Harbour closed the gap to seven with one last try to Al Kanomi. That try giving the Pirates a vital bonus point that could be critical for their finals chances. Parramatta's win, earning them a certain spot in the finals. And in the remaining game from the split round, with two matches played in the first half of the split and four matches in the second half, Gordon proved too strong for Penrith, winning by 11 points. And so to the table, with just one round of the competition remaining, Eastwood have wrapped up the minor premiership for the second year in a row, while Manly, Uni, Southern Districts will make up the top four teams. Norths and Parramatta will battle for fifth position, with Warringah, Eastern Suburbs and West Harbour playing for the last two final spots, while Gordon, Ramwick and Penrith will play their last matches this weekend.